Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn about the HTTP proxy and here you can see that the number of downloads so it's pretty much good. So I'm going to teach you the new package of the NPM that is HTTP proxy and why we are using this. Let's get started. So first of all, let's take a look of what is HTTP proxy and uh, it is like a middleman between your browser and the another server. So normally browser that is user and your backend change the requests on okay but when you are using the proxy so first browser sends a request to the proxy and then the backend so the proxy just forwards the request to the another server and then sends the response back to the user so why do we need it hide your backend so whenever you want to hide your backend users talk to the proxy proxy talks to the real server there is only one entry point proxy can forward slash api to one server and slash images to the another security you can filter block change requests before sending to the real server web sockets http proxy also supports upgrading to the real time web socket connections next we have the real life example imagine a restaurant the customer the browser or the user right so the waiter the proxy okay and the kitchen the backend server so the customer never talks to the kitchen directly the waiter takes the order passes to the kitchen and brings food back this is how exactly the HTTP proxy work so let's take an example so here we have here you can see keep the two terminals open so once the backend server you have to run on 8080 and the once the proxy server should be run on the 550 550 okay so here you can see that once this is a backend server which i've run on the 8080 port and then another one that we are running on the 550 port okay so this is how the proxy we have created okay so create the proxy server like this proxy http proxy create proxy server and create the http server so this is already we have done on this one so forward every request to the backend so this should be run okay so make sure of that one and this one server listen to this one so the proxy is running on the 550 and the backend server is running on the 8080 port here you can see that okay what we have to do is run open the backend server and the proxy server both in the two terminals check if the backend is running and open directly this one 8080 okay only after that the backend works test the proxy so here you can see that when i just do this proxy 550 okay so here you can see that hello from the backend is coming okay if i go to the network and just reload here you can see that the it's local lowest 550 550 50 50 okay so my backend is running on 880 port so it hides the backend nobody knows where the data comes so it's a proxy we are using right currently my backend is running on 8080 but here you can see 550 550 coming on the network tab okay so it hides your backend nobody knows which from where the request is coming okay so this is how the proxy works okay so hope you understand what proxy how proxy behaves any doubt any query do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day